Now people see you doing something. They want to copy it. They don't know the process I've been through. What I'm, what I'm still going through. It's hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes. Because it's, I'm testing you. Test your heart. Sometimes when you think you have passed it, God will repeat it again. To see if it has stayed in you. He's a God that likes to say verily, verily. He likes to repeat your exam twice. It's not like your modern school, you just write exam. When you write, he wants to know, do you really know it? He will bring it again in another way. Okay. If you can get it this way, you got it this way, you are good to go. Go to the next class. And then the next class. And then the next class. So somebody was saying to me, sir, you are bad in the prophetic. Let's do crusades. Let's go everywhere. Let's go program. I said, me that I'm still in school. I'm just doing final year. I'm still in school. I've not finished passing my test. God is still training me. Whatever you see is still small compared to what is coming. But I must continue to face my test and lock myself up. I was saying to a man of God who told me, come and see me. I said, since 2019, I've not left my house. Only church house. I've not gone anywhere since 2019. I've not seen an airport. All my passport, passport expired, visas expired. The Lord said, don't go anywhere. And I've been obeying since 2019. Gives me that travel like, you don't even know I've traveled. I can leave a service and travel before the next service I'm back. I travel everywhere. Pa, 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 everywhere. Today I'm in the UK, tomorrow I'm in Israel, next tomorrow I'm in the US, next tomorrow I've gone to 10 cities in the US, you know, and all of that. Lord said, don't go anywhere. I said, I can't go anywhere until the Lord permits me to move. He said, stay now, your final training. You will stay there in one place. Wake up in the morning in the same place. Night, the same place. You're in the same place every day. He said, stay there. You must learn to stay in one place. Let's see if you pass the intru- instruction. And somebody wanted to dedicate the house, so it was he's a major partner of the church. So he told me to come. So I didn't I had to go. No. Don't dedicate any house. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. I'm obeying the instruction. I don't know what the airport looks like since 2019. I've not been to an airport since 2019. Not within Nigeria, not outside Nigeria. I'm going through my process. I'm under instruction. Stay there. My flesh hurts, but stay there. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. And then he's teaching me a lot of things. And he's telling me it's time for separation because I want to bring you out in a new way. So the old must go. So stay there. And people come with so many suggestions. I say, no, the Lord has not said so. Until the Lord said, now it's time to do YouTube and Facebook. Uh Uh-huh. We started that. I wait for instruction. I wait for instruction. God, I'm in a class now where I must learn to follow instruction. I'm still learning it. You know, I have a brain of my own. There's money in the account. Anything comes to my mind, I should do it, right? But will you wait? Will you trust in him? Will you wait for direction? Those are the things he's training me on now. And I'm learning it. So I want to do something, I wait. I want to do something, I get a vision, I wait. Lord, what are you saying? Don't do it. But Lord, you told me to do it. Yes. But you have to wait for me to tell you when. Okay, thank you. Because the Lord tells me I like to run. I don't know how to slow. God says, I want a new backdrop. As the service just goes, bam. All right, let's start work. I don't know how to delay. The Lord says, I like it, but I also want to teach you another style. I want a new backdrop. When, Lord? No voice. Wait. You wait until I tell you to. I want to teach you to follow me, not just to obey me. To obey God, you don't need a second instruction. Get me food. Yes, that's obedience. Get me food. How and when? Higher class. I want it 2 o'clock tomorrow. See? Now you went to go and be cooking what he wants tomorrow. Because you were obedient. God doesn't want obedient people. As many that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. To get into sonship, you don't have to be obedient. You have to be what? Be led. There are two different things. You need your brain to obey. You need the spirit to be led. Let me look. That's my own course. I don't need to give you. That's my own. Leave me for me. I'm just telling you that I am still in school. And every time here and there, I still fail the test here. And God says, you repeat this one, repeat this one. You pass this one, you pass this one. You didn't pass this one. Well, repeat. You know, like that. Every situation, so I'm very careful. I'm watching everything. I'm watching everybody. I don't, I don't know who it will come through. One day, I saw in a vision, my wife stood before me. I saw a big hand came through her stomach. Big hand. And he said, I am El Gibor. Huh? So what's that? Lord says, I used your wife to test you last time. So why I say, this wife, this very stupid woman, God says, thank you for what you said about me. Ah, Lord, I was there. When a beggar is there, and the Lord is inside the beggar, waiting for you to obey. 
is leading you, help this person. You, you pass the Lord. So I'm watching. Who is? Who? Who? Who is the Lord wanting to? And people that have hurt me long, God says, now go and give this person something. I say, Lord, what he did last time? God says, yes, yes. I say, yes, Lord, whatever you say, do it. People that have done their own foolishness, God says, I want you to call this person and give this person. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I'm learning very fast. Yes, Lord. I want to be done with this school, Lord. So I'm ready. You become conscious when you understand you're in school. You become conscious. You don't just do things the way you like. Then tomorrow, let's have a party. Tomorrow is exam. Every reasonable father will train their children. What about God? Where are you? You don't know you're in class? You don't know God can use anybody to speak to you? He can use anybody to discipline you? He can use anybody to train you? Even sometimes people that are lower than you? To see if you humble yourself. You don't only humble yourself to those above you. Sometimes you humble yourself to those below you. You have to learn that. But use everybody. Use my wife. Use my children. Use my gate man. Use everybody. And then I have to watch for what he wants me to do. And try to follow what he will have me do. Not how I feel. Not what I think. So there are many young people. I've advised them. They can't understand. So I've left them to enter, to re-enter the wilderness. Some of you have left the wilderness. You have re-entered. You have re-entered. Because when they tested you, what you learned, you are not applying it. You re-enter. You enter again. So that's why it was called round circle. You have gone round. You have completed the circle, but you started again because you chose not to pass. What life are you living? Who are you deceiving? It's not based on how you look. God has a record of everything you say, everything you do, especially in secret. 